I'm a motherfucking live. I'm a motherfucking live. I got no wig. I gotta wait on my wig. My nigga, what you do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fuckers. Now I'm gonna talk my shit. I'll talk my shit. Hold on. Hold on. Put my shit on. <laughs> Put my shit on. My bad. Hey guys. Wait, I'm about to pop my shit. Are we here? All right. All right, so I just finished doing my show in Ghana, right? And I want to say thank you to my fans for coming out. Thank you guys so much in Ghana. And you know, today there was a lot of miscommunication. There was a lot of shit going on. There was a lot of miscommunication. And I know I cleared it up earlier. But uh, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a let y'all know a couple of things, okay? I'm going to let y'all know a little bit about me. I'm going to let y'all know a little bit about Cardi, all right? Okay. First thing first, right? Because I asked my, my booking agent, right? Like, it's like, did I have a meet and greet today? And he said, no. So, hold on. So, a meet and greet wasn't in my contract, right? I didn't know I had a motherfucking meet and greet today. I know I had one in Nigeria, and I was on time for that. I, I did all of that. I know I had one today, all right? When I woke up, I went downstairs at around 3 p.m. to soak up some sun in the pool, and my stomach started hurting. That shit was around, like, 3 p.m., right? And then I woke up. I woke up, and it's like I see this rage going on on fucking social media, and everybody's like, yeah, you got to do a meet and greet. And I seen that there was a lot of my fans there in the meet and greet. So I'm like, you know what? I don't give a fuck if it's not in my contract or not. I'm going downstairs. And then I guess a lot of artists were upset because they got invited to the meet and greet and I wasn't there. And for that, I apologize. But then again, that wasn't my fault because it wasn't me that did that. And however, but let me tell you about this, right? Let me tell you about this that I don't fucking like. Because I saw a couple of females that they supposedly artists from here and I didn't know that. But let me tell you something. When I was around the pool around 3 p.m., which was the time supposedly that the meet and greet was going on, I was in the pool and the same girls that are talking shit about me on live talking about I'm this, I'm that. Y'all saw me around the pool. And it was around the time of the meet and greet. So if y'all see me around the pool, right, and I'm chilling, instead of acting so stush, why don't you stush and staring at me like if I have a piece of fucking shit on my motherfucking eyes, why don't you go up to me like, hey, hey, what's up? Welcome to Ghana, this and that. Um, Welcome to Ghana, welcome to this. Do you know there's a meet and greet going on so I could be aware you know what I'm saying? If I was aware, if I would have known, I would have been like, oh, shit, well, I'm going over there. I am a person that I get I get paid, and then I would do my job, and I work, and on top of that, I'm a person that give a fuck about my fans. And today, even in the concert, I heard that the lights were off, my pyros went off, blah, blah, blah. I, I didn't even feel comfortable doing the show, but at the end of the day, I was, I'm already here, and I have people there, so I don't give a fuck. I'm going to go entertain, and I'm a motherfucking show out. And that's just the type of person I am. In America, in the Caribbean, in South America that I never went, in Europe, everywhere I go, I do my motherfucking thing. I'm not disrespectful. I've been planning for this fucking trip forever. My outfits were on deck, everything. I was excited. And if there was a misunderstanding, there were there was a couple of misunderstandings, maybe because the promoter, he's really big in he's really big in Nigeria, but I don't think that, you know, he's from here. So I don't know how things work around here. Maybe it's it would have been different if he was from here. But like I said, there was a whole bunch of miscommunication. And for any miscommunication that there was, I apologize for it. I apologize for that. I do not like to offend. I see a couple of things on social media like uh countries against countries artists against artists let me tell you something it don't matter where you're from if you talented if you holding down your country if you're an artist then you're amazing then you're that motherfucking person i don't see nobody bigger than me bigger than that bigger than this bigger than that i don't see that way everybody should be treated with respect so if um certain artists came out and this and that, and yeah, and people wasting your time i apologize for that you know what i'm saying i apologize for that like I said, that's not my issue, and I will never do that. It's not in my character. That's just not the type of person that I am. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like that it's like, like it's like 
the ones that talking the most heavy, like as I you seen me earlier. So why you didn't say say nothing when you see me? You could have told me what's what's going on. You could have told me what let me know. I I I I don't be here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not from here. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't go. Don't be looking at me like this the whole time and shit. Looking at me and shit. And it's like, but you know what's going on. And then when, then y'all walk away and then y'all start talking shit. And it's like, I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't even know what the fuck is going on. So I don't like that. I don't like that. That's not gangster. That's not real. But anyways, I had a good time, and I'm going to keep having a good time. This is my last day in Africa. Now I got to go back to cold-ass New York. It's beautiful over here. The weather's motherfucking nice. I'm going to turn the fuck up. I'm going to put my fucking wig on. If I have to have a party in my motherfucking room, I am. Because this is my motherfucking last day here. I don't have my kid with me, and I'm going to fucking turn up. Every country that I, I go to, I want to turn up. I want to get motherfucking crazy. I want to I wanna see my different fans. Um, um, my fans in the in the in the thing in the in the show they were showing me mad love and um even if the people in the meet and greet I could tell that they were upset at the beginning but when I get there they show me so much love there was a girl that she started twerking turning up uh her wig came off so I had to take my wig off in the in the in the fucking concert too because I gotta let you know bitch yeah we get down like that too we get down like that too yeah yeah so I don't I, I just miss miss communication you know what i'm saying but um just don't like that 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 bullshit are we ready to put my wig on oh, yes oh y'all the more jollof rice yeah. i'm saying it right right yes. yeah so yeah plenty 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 and we are about to meet, oh yeah, so we are about to meet an artist that me and my A&R, we've been talking a lot. He, before we came here, we, in the jet, he was, he was having me listen to his song. He's a, he's the artist from Ghana, right? Can you play the song? I like this song. This song is cute. Oh, my stomach is like fucked up. Really, really cute. I be out you say, give me job. I need some beer. I need some liquor. I need to turn up. My body is getting hot. And not do shit, okay? Again, 
All right, let me get the fuck, because I got to get my motherfucking hair done. Goodbye.